known as the Wild West, gave us many legendary figures. One of these was John Henry Holliday. Trained as a dentist, he was referred to by most simply as Doc. After contracting tuberculosis, he headed west in 1873, having been told the climate there would be better for his health. Although he practiced dentistry off and on until shortly before his death, Doc preferred the life of a gambler. He gambled in many frontier towns, including Fort Griffin and Dodge City in Kansas, Leadville in Colorado, and Tombstone, Arizona Territory, where along with the York brothers, he took part in the gunfight at the OK Corral. Even before that most famous of shootouts, Doc Holliday had seen plenty of action. He was thought to have been involved in more than 30 duels to the death. So step back with us now, back into history, and witness one of the first authenticated gunfights of John Henry Holliday. The year? The year is 1879, two years before the gunfight in Tombstone. The place is the boom town of Las Vegas, New Mexico Territory. Doc is running a saloon he won part ownership of in a card game. Sally Jensen, one of the saloon girls, or soiled doves, is the mistress of Mike Gordon, an ex-army scout and Indian fighter. Mike wants to take Sally away from her life in the saloon and tries, once again, to persuade her. has only fanned the flames of his anger. He's shooting up the saloon. to move on. He survived many more gunfights, including the Earp Clanton feud at Tombstone. What gunmen had failed to do, 
disease finally accomplished. In 1887, John Henry Holliday, dentist, gunfighter, and gambler, died in bed of tuberculosis at the age of 35. He is buried where he died, in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Thank you for letting Arizona Gunfighters bring to you this episode from the historic past.